Hello everyone. I'm going to work a problem from the homework section, um, uh, 7.4, problem 40. Uh, this is one that uh, I'm seeing the, the same error being made quite a bit. And so um, let's take a look at this. This is a typical, the typical error I'm seeing. And it's a very good student and it's basically um, a visual thing. Um, it's very easy to get these two ideas confused. So that's why I want to talk about it. Essentially, what the student is doing here is uh, canceling and ending up with this. And you can see how uh, the mind is working here. And it's the right idea, but the wrong context. In other words, if we had this situation, if we had on top r plus s quantity cubed over the quanti a quantity r plus s, then you could think of this as um, two bases with uh, two exponents and two bases, and the bases are the same, and you're dividing and you could subtract the exponents, or you, if you want to think of it in terms of canceling, you could cancel the quantity r plus s, and you'd end up with r plus s quantity squared. Notice the difference here and here. The exponent is on the individual numbers here, on the, on the unknowns. Over here it is on the quantity. It makes all the difference in the world, but it's easy to miss that Q and to ply ahead like this. Okay, what's going on here though is actually from uh, chapter 5. On top here what we have is the sum of two cubes. And you could chase this down in chapter 5. I think it was section uh, 5.6 where you learn how to crack the sum of two cubes and the difference of two cubes. There's a formula for that. What I'm going to do is run that formula simultaneously at, as I go to a house united on this problem. So on top, the r cubed plus s cubed is going to crack as a binomial times a trinomial. And that will look like this. Here's the binomial, and here is the trinomial. r squared minus rs plus s squared and all over, all over r plus s. Now, if you were to multiply this binomial times this trinomial, you would get back r squared plus s squared, uh, r cubed plus s cubed. I'm not going to do that, but that's what would happen. Now you see we have, you can essentially think of this as three numbers. There's two of them on the top, and they're being multiplied together, and there's one on the bottom. And when you have all multiplication, and let me show you, you know, multiplication in the bottom, multiplication in the top, you could cancel one for one. And so the answer here is going to be cube root of r squared minus rs plus s squared, all over one, or simply written like this. That is it. So again, um, very easy to get these two ideas conflated. I hope you uh, avoid that as we move forward.